So yeah, this is going to be like a reaction video. Card review slash Crip reacts to the Barons. Because yeah, obviously I don't play Constructed. I haven't played Constructed. I, I play for a few days when an expansion comes out. And in general, it's easy to stay relevant with the game because it's very samey, like in terms of mechanics and all that, and power levels and how these decks play out. But uh, a slam desk, react harder. <laughs> But yeah, the, the truth is, the truth is that they're changing the core set completely. Uh, we're going to have Hearthstone Classic. I don't know. I I would say that any card review you're seeing right now is not going to be anywhere near as accurate as they have been in the past. And let's not pretend they have been particularly accurate in the past from anyone. All right. So what do we got? Let's see. Um... Maybe I can do by class first, just because I'd rather I'd rather do them all for a class so we can get an idea of how it might seem. Okay, Razor Boar, Death Rattle, summon a Death Rattle minion that costs three or less from your hand. Two mana, two two. That seems very high tempo. It's very uh, outlandish. I like it. Seems good. Seems good. Summon two demons with life steal. Two twos for three. Seems okay. Generally okay doesn't really cut it for early game demons, but uh, there are some reasons to play multi-card cards to just swarm. So maybe, maybe, pretty good. Maybe good, I don't know. Actually, I don't think it's good unless that works out. Maybe not so good. Okay, so one mana, give your hero two attack this turn. And upgrades when you have five mana, give your hero plus three attack. Okay, upgrades when you have ten mana. So 10 mana gives you here a 4 attack for 1. Hmm. I think uh, I think when it comes to Demon Hunter, because they can be combo-oriented, this type of flexibility might add to the card enough where it doesn't suck. Tusk Piercer. Death Rattle, draw a Death Rattle minion. 1 for... 1-2. Uh, well, I think that's pretty good. Death Speaker Blackhorn. This is the legendary. Actually, there's two legendaries. Uh, seven for a three six. Summon three death rattle minions that cost five or less from your deck. So when you see cards like this, people don't usually play them with just random death rattles. This this effect is going to be summon three death rattle minions that cost five from your deck. Let's let's be real about that, right? Like these this kind of shit gets min maxed, and that's obviously really crazy. The uh, the counterbalance of that is like it costs seven, and then you have like multiple cards with death rattle that cost five in your deck. That doesn't seem to work too well with what Demon Hunter does in general. So it's probably balanced because of the conflict with the archetype. Four 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 four, outcast draw two death rattle minions. So I I guess we're just like full blown death rattle mode right now, with Demon Hunter. Okay. At the start of your next turn, silence all enemy minions. Man, that shit is cool. <laughs> that shit is cool. I like this a lot. I think this is one of the coolest cards I've ever seen. Like, start of next turn effects is actually, like, strategy card games. And, uh, yeah, silence is really rare, so that's a pretty good effect to have. Start of your next turn, deal three damage to all minions. Oh, they have more. Cool. Razorfin Beastmaster, 3 for 3, 3. Death Rattle, summon a Death Rattle minion that cost 4 or less from your hand. Okay. Not bad. Uh, Kurtris Ashfallen, 4 for a 3, 4. Battle Cry, attack the left and right most enemy minions. Outcast makes this guy immune. So, you probably, you probably don't want to just slam him on the board. He's just gonna, he's just gonna be like, let's go! And then just gets like sniped with the arrow in the forehead within a second, right? But uh, if you have them outcast, it's like a double removal and a body. Worse multi-shot. Being able to target cards on a class that's tempo-driven, I think is an advantage. I think it's better than multi-shot. All right, see what Druid has. Set each player to zero crystals. Set the cost of cards in all hands and decks to one. So 
if you do this, you can't really innervate a combo because innervate's going to cost one. I wonder if there's cards that could generate coins afterwards and then you could combo your opponent. This is definitely a combo enabler and I like it a lot. Big Hide Kodo, 4 for a 3 5, Death Rattle, 5 Armor, Taunt. That's very good for stopping aggro. 2 1 2 Turtles with Taunt. Titles. Give your minions plus 1 plus 3 for 4. Yeah. Like, okay, so Blessing of Kings is plus 4 plus 4, but you usually play it on like Divine Shield and stuff is plus two plus six as good as a king's i would say no because paladins just have higher quality minions to invest in right you gotta hit three targets with this can you do that very often i don't know i think that might be a bit too difficult after a friendly minion with taunt dies summon a new copy of it without taunt uh yeah i mean you can play this proactively and dunk a bunch of taunts that's really good. Two for a two, three. First taunt minion you play each turn costs two less. He doesn't have taunt, so you can chain him right away, which I think makes him very good. Guff Rune Totem. Four for a two, oh, sorry, three for a two, four. After you cast the nature spell. Oh, first time! First time we see this. Uh, oh, I scared the doggos. <laughs> first time we see this, like, uh, spell typing ability. So it's not when you cast the spell, it's when it's when you cast the nature spell. You give another friendly minion plus two plus two. And when you cast the spell, you can't simultaneously target something. So this goes without saying that this effect is random. You need to play a nature spell. Most druid spells are nature, but you need to have another minion already. Still seems okay. I think it's alright. Mark of the spike shell. Give a minion plus two plus two. If it has taunt, add a copy of it to your hand. Seems good. Living Seed. Draw a beast reduce its cost by 1 for 2 mana. That seems bad. Upgrades at 5. Draw a beast reduces cost by 2. That's like okay. Let me guess. 4? What? It's not even 4? They had recount. They already got scammed. Drew the Plains. Frenzy. Okay, so if you know what Frenzy does. A one-time effect after this survives damage. So it's like the opposite of overkill. It's like an underkill on the card. Transform into a 6-7 with taunt. Well, that's going to destroy Arena. Alright, not bad, not bad. These are Hunter cards. 4 for a 3-4. Discover a beast in your deck. Give all copies of it plus 2 plus 1 wherever they are. That seems interesting. There are a number of cards that can scale their stats very effectively. And uh, a lot of them are beasts. Deal 6 damage to a minion. Excess damage hits the enemy hero. Oh, so it's 5 face. Got it. Discover a beast, secret, or weapon. 3 for a 3-3 three, three beast. That's not bad. At the start of your turn, give all minions in your hand plus 1, plus 1. Wait, so this has to survive a turn. Eh... Uh, one thing I've learned over the years is 1-3s do not survive all that well. But it's not bad. Any snowball effects can be good in the early game. Deal 1 damage, summon a 1-1 one, one Hyena with a Rush. Hm. That's nice. Yeah, 1 damage face. Elven Archer with Rush. Yep. After a friendly beast attack, summon a beast from your deck that costs 1 less. So, hunters in the core set are getting the, the dire frenzy thing which is like plus three plus three and buff all the copies put three copies in your deck i feel like there's some combo action yeah i think that might be work. that might work after you cast the spell summon a one one hyena with rush I mean, that's not bad summon a two two beast with rush for two okay summon a f really what Dude, how are they so imbalanced? The, the Demon Hunter attack goes from 2 to 3 to 4, which is like, okay, whatever. And then the Druid one goes from reducing the cost of the beast by, by 
one, then two, then three. This goes from a two, two to a four, four to a six, six. Oh, I see. You would need turn 10 on a hunter, which is much less likely. Mm. Is it really less likely than demon hunter, though? Barrack. Draw a one, two, and three cost spell. Cool. I feel like I've played that card in a different game. One for a one, three. Frenzy, shuffle a scalebane raptor into your deck with a permanent plus two, plus one. Well, normally any one mana, one, three is playable in, in the history of Constructed anyway. We don't know how the game will be exactly. But this would essentially put a another card in your deck that is a one mana, three, four. Would you want a one mana, three, four? Debatable. When that gets its frenzy effect to go off, if it gets its frenzy effect to go off, it would be a 1 mana 5-5. Five five. And I think that probably is pretty good. I'd rate that card quite strong, yeah, quite strong. M-A-G-E, Mage. Arcane Luminary. 3-4-4-3, three, four, four, three. cards that didn't start in your deck cost 2 less, but not less than 1. This is like an aura, so this is like an active effect at all times. Cool, seems very good. When a friendly minion is attacked, summon a 3-6 water elemental. Well, that's just not fair. Rhyme Tongue, after you cast a frost spell, summon a 1-1 one, one elemental that freezes. Oh, okay. Draw two, refresh two mana crystals for each spell drawn. Oh my god. What the hell? Increase the damage of your hero power by one. This looks like a permanent thing. Deal two, discover a spell. <laughs> and people are like, Yeah, Crip, look at Mage. Mage lost Frostbolt. Dead on arrival. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, Varden Dawn Grasp. Four for a 3-3. Three, three. Battle Cry frees all enemy minions. If any are already frozen, deal four damage to them instead. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Zero mana, freeze a random enemy. The upgrade, freeze two random enemies. And then re-upgrade, freeze three. It does seem like the growth effect of these rank cards has to do with how likely the class can get to endgame. Reckless Apprentice, fire your hero power at all enemies. That's nice. I like Mordresh Fire Eye. Who the hell is this? Is this like a World of Warcraft character? If you've dealt 10 damage to your hero power this game, you'll 10 damage to all enemies. That seems cool. I like that. I could I could go for a hero power mage. Hero power control mage. I like it. Oh, he's in Razor from Downs. Paladin. After your opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a 3-4 steed with taunt. That could be quite good. I like that. Draw a holy spell. Yeah. Good. It's really good. Start your turn. Summon two 1-1 one, one silver hand recruits. Yeah, I don't think he's going to live, though. You control a secret, draw a minion. 3 mana, 3, 4. Very good. 2 mana, 1, 3 weapon. After your hero attacks, cast a secret from your deck. Absolutely crazy. Give a random friendly minion 3 attack. 2, 3 attack. 3, 3 attack. 3 random. The way it's worded is I don't think it can land on the same minion more than once. So this is actually pretty weak later. 1 mana, bloodlust. Oh, that's an interesting way to look at it. That might be worth, then. Cariel Rome. Call, call her Karen. Rush Divine Shield when this attacks. Reduce the cost of holy spells in your hand by one. Hmm. Okay. Plus one, plus one, all minions in your hand, deck, and battlefield. This seems pretty good, but, like, if you're playing lots of small minions, to do, like, Four, four mana only. Actually, you could have small minions in play. Yeah, this seems pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. Veteran War Medic. Four for a three, five. After you cast a holy spell, summon a two, two medic with lifesteal. Very good. 
Cannon Master Smythe. Transform your secrets into 3-3 three, three soldiers. They transform back when they die. That's a pretty good card. Priest. 4 for a 3-4. Spell in your hand. Deal 1 damage to a random enemy minion. How many spells can you really hold? Like, and how many do you need for this to be good? Like, 4 or 5? Yeah, that's not bad. Well, I guess if you play this and you have 9 spells, it's almost as good as Arena for 4. I mean, you have to have a lot of spells, but if you do, that's pretty good, right? Give a minion plus 3 plus 5, cost 1 less for each spell in your hand. Okay. So it can cost 0. Start of your turn, copy a spell from your opponent's deck to your hand. Start a turn, though. I don't know about that. Lifesteal did 4 damage randomly split across all enemy minions. That's okay. The lifesteal effect does help a lot with Priest. Choose an enemy minion, steal attack and health from it until it has more. Until this has more. So if your opponent has like a 5-5, five, five, it's minus 3, minus 3 on that, and you get a 2 mana 4-4. Four, four. So that's really good. Okay, if your opponent has a 4-4, four, four, this will be a 4-4, four, four, and that will go to a 1-1. One, one. Because a 2-2 two, two is still tied. Each stat half rounded down. Oh, it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, right, right, right. It doesn't plus plus. Right, right, right. Okay. Because it starts as a 1-1. One, one. So against the 5-5. Five, 5-5 five, five, five goes to 4-4. Four, four. This goes to 2-2. 5-5 two, two. Five, five goes to 3-3. Three, three. This goes to 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, 4-4 four, four and 2-2. Two, two. For a 4-4, four, four, this is a 3-3 three, three versus 2-2. Two, two. For a 3-3, three, three, this is a 3-3, three, three, and that becomes a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty strong. I like that. Zarella, 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. If you've restored health this turn, deal that much damage to all enemy minions. Okay, that's pretty That's pretty good. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, taunt, battle cry. If you've restored health this turn, gain plus 3, plus 3. Not bad. Deal 1 damage to all enemy minions. Upgrade two to three. Pretty good. Six for six six. Death Rider restore eight health to all friendly characters. What? <laughs> That's a big heal. Five health to each hero. Interesting. Interesting. Dude, Priest looks pretty spicy. I like it. Isn't Priest pretty good right now already? Let's see if Rogue keeps it in check. After you play a battle cry or combo card, draw a card. Well, that can get crazy really fast. Reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one. That's a frenzy effect. That can only happen one. Um, I mean, a two mana one four frenzy effect is probably going to work. It's a mech. Maybe that matters. Give your weapon after your hero attacks, draw a card. Pretty good. 2 damage, 4 damage, 6 damage. You can you can just smark face with this. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Battle Cry and Death Rattle, add a random poison to your hand. Poisons are like uh, deadly poison type of shit. Like uh, they're weapon buffs. Yeah, seems alright. After you play a poison, gain 1 durability. Sure. Yeah. Four mana, three, three. The next two cards you play this turn cost three less. So basically, if you combo him using a zero cost spell, which there are many in the upcoming core set, it's basically a two mana bonus, but it's in rogue. Rogues like crazy combos. Give your weapon plus one attack. Your hero is immune while attacking. Okay. Deal two damage. If this entered your hand this turn, Four instead. I don't know if that's quite good enough. Yoink! Discover a hero power and set its cost to zero. Swap back after two uses. So you do this, and then you use it for zero. That doesn't seem that good, but who knows? It's a very unique effect. Shaman. Murlocs are back. Death Rattle summon a 1 1 Tiny Fin. Wow, this card is crazy. What the hell? 1 mana, 1 2, Death Rattle, 1 1, and it's a Murloc? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. 
This card is ridiculous. Yeah, Possessed Villager. So Warlocks had a card called Possessed Villager that was this effect, but the base card was a 1-1, one, one, and it wasn't a very important minion type. So this is much better. And also in the core set, I don't believe we saw a Hungry Crab. Hungry Crab is rip in peace. 4 mana, 2, 6 taunt. Battle card, deal 1 damage to all my minions. That's very strong. You play an elemental last turn, transform an enemy minion into a 0-1 frog with taunt. Oh, that's pretty nice. Start of your turn, draw Murloc. It has to survive, which, I don't know, tough. You play an elemental last turn, gain rush and wind fury. Two attack is a bit on the low side. If you control another Murloc, deal two damage. Seems good. After you play a Murloc, deal one damage to all enemies. <laughs> I will give you guys a constructed simulation. Firemancer, Flurgle. Another one. And another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Uh, give your minions plus one plus one. Give your murlocs an extra plus one plus one. Cost three though. Brucon. Four mana, five, four. Nature spell damage plus three. So that's like lightning storm and lightning bolt and shit like that. It's Brucon. I think it's Brucon. Oh, it's broken. Broken. Easy. Pronunciation solved. Deal 2 damage to an enemy minion and a random adjacent one. 3, 4, and not bad. Shaman looks pretty cool. I like it. Warlock, at the start of your turn, summon a 1 cost minion from your deck. Okay. Battlecry and Death Rattle give another random for the minion plus 1 plus 1. That can be okay. Costs 1 while your deck has 10 or fewer cards. Ooh. Interesting. Nehru Fireblade. 5 for a 5-5. Five, five. If your deck is empty, open a portal that fills your board with 3-2 whelps each turn. Wait, so this takes up a space on the board as well? 3-2 imps, whatever. Empty deck? I I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That doesn't seem that good to me. Destroy the top three cards of each deck. I don't think it's very good, but I like it. Destroy a friendly minion. Deal two damage to all enemy minions. Whenever you cast a shadow spell that costs one or more, add a copy of it to your hand that costs zero. Okay. You probably want to do this when you get like at least one, probably two shadow spells. Like this one. 5 damage to all minions. Destroy a card in your deck for each killed. <laughs> so Warlock went from discard your hand, which didn't work, to discard your deck. I'm going to need to see more cards that take advantage of this. 3 mana, 3, 3, lifesteal, battle cry. If your deck contains 10 or fewer cards, deal 6 damage to a minion. The lifesteal effect is relevant, because that'll be a heal for 6, right? Oh, Nero, it adds imps on your opponent's turn as well. I see. That card has an infinite board clear combo with Siphon Soul. I don't understand. Why is it infinite? Yeah, I don't think anything's infinite. Hearthstone doesn't do infinite. Not intentionally, anyway. So I'm in a 3-2 imp. Seems kind of shitty. Two of them. Three of them. Warrior. Give me some control cards. Battle cry and frenzy. Deal one damage to all other minions. Okay. Seems not bad. Rush frenzy. Draw card. Yeah, that's not bad. Random top minion. This one plus one and copy it. Mm. After a hero attacks and kills a minion. Draw a card. Yeah, okay. I can see that. Not bad. Deal two damage to all minions. Gain two armor for each destroyed. Okay. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of aggro decks, so that's very good. 
give minions in your hand plus one plus one, upgrades plus two plus two, upgrades again plus three plus three. That does not seem very good. Overlord Sarfang, resurrect two friendly frenzy minions, deal one damage to all other minions, which would in turn activate their frenzy effects. Two activated frenzy rezzed for seven. That does seem pretty good to me. After a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one plus one. Does this count itself? Yeah. Hey, maybe it's not too bad then. Frenzy, gain one attack for each damaged character. Good luck with that. Uh, battle cry, if you're here to attack this turn, summon a copy of this. That's not too hard to attack with a warrior. 5 mana, 8, 8 across 2. That's pretty alright. Tempo-based warrior decks. Finally, we got some neutrals. Okay, not, not that many neutrals. Can't attack after your opponent draws a card. It costs one more. Up to 10. Oh, so you can't break your opponent's draws. I think this card's pretty good. If you're playing this in a control deck, it slows your opponent down, so they'll want to kill it. It slows at least one card. And then it's still a 2-mana two 2-4. Two Not exactly taunt, but... I mean, almost. This seems very good to me. Lushwater Scout. 2 for a 1-3. After you summon a Murloc, give it one attack and rush. Sound the horn, boys. Gator. Two for a two, three. Frenzy deal three damage to the enemy hero. <gasps> River Crocolisk is crying, guys. Power crypt. Two for a one, three. Battle cry. Your next spell this turn has spell damage plus two. Ah, maybe. Your death all cards cost one less. That's pretty good. It doesn't say... No less than zero type of shit, so you can you can really get some crap out with this. After a friendly secret is revealed, gain plus two plus two. I think this would see play in Paladin, where you're using small secrets and you have an, an aggressive dump of secrets. Like you have like get down and then this is like a three mana six five, right? Phrase trap. I think it's better in Paladin than it is in Hunter. And I think it's pretty good in Paladin. The Hill Cultist. 3 for a 2-4, Taunt, Death Rattle, Restore 4 health here. That seems pretty good. Oh, weren't these like really annoying in Razorfin? You had to like constantly interrupt these and came in like packs of 4. Little shit. <laughs> yes. 3 mana, 3-2, three, Battle Cry, Summon a 2-1 Hog with Rush. Alright. Give your weapon plus 1 attack. I think the Pirate Tag is still pretty strong. So I think this is good. Poisonous, discover a spell on the battle cry. So it's like an infinite attack, three health beast for three with discover a spell. This this will see play. This is a good card. Hog. Skip the hog. There's the hog. There. Thanks. You're welcome. Happy hogger. <laughs> Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, so that card's good. 3 for a 3 4 Frenzy Gain Divine Shield. Ooh, wow. Wow. Well, if you don't one shot this, you have to three shot it? Dude, this seems pretty good. I think this is going to see a lot of play in aggressive zoo decks. A lot of play. Gr gruntled Patron. 4 for a 3 3 Frenzy Summon another Gruntled Patron. Yeah. Tar Tarajo Brave is Tarajo. Six for a four eight. Destroy a random enemy minion with frenzy. Eh. It's not bad. Combo patron back. What am I missing? I'm not missing anything. Injured Marauder. This guy's like a centaur. Four for a five ten. Haunt. Battle cry, deal six to this minion. Mm. Oh yeah, Oaken summons in wild. True. Four for a five five pirate. Discover a card in the opponent's deck. They draw theirs as well. I mean, I don't think that's that much of a disadvantage. But like in terms of constructed, 
is a four mana five five really good enough? Eh, eh. Maybe for arena mill, yeah, maybe. Five for a one one death rattle summon a five eight demon spawn with taunt. Seems pretty good. Five for a three seven frenzy gain armor equal to the damage taken. I don't know if that's really that good. So frenzy is a one time effect. Like you can you can cover it here. Let's see. A one-time effect after this survives damage. So first off, it might not survive damage. Second off, the most you can gain is six. It takes six damage. But you're like your opponent's gonna have to do some real dumb shit to get six. So I wouldn't count six. I think it's still okay because the high health taunt, but just okay. Four for a five seven. Death rattle deal five damage to your hero. Wow. Five seven for four. Yeah, that is pretty good. Hit Lord, better. Two for a two two, battle cry and taunt. If you're holding a nature spell, gain two health. So we have two mana, two four, taunt. Basic homunculus. Eh, I don't know. Three damage to your hero. Two for a two four. It's like that's it. Is that all we're gonna do? If you control a Murloc, gain plus one plus one. I like that. Kindly Elemental, one for a one, two. Battle Cry, next Elemental you play cost one less. That seems very good. Like if you play this on turn one, on turn two you can play a three drop Elemental, and a three drop Elemental will most likely just dunk on whatever your opponent's playing. Summon a five five lookout for each watch post you've played this game. What the hell is a watchful grunt? So the watch post we established is really good. Crossroads watch post. Can't attack whenever your opponent, opponent casts a spell. Give your minions plus one plus one. That does not seem as good. Can't attack after your opponent plays a minion. Summon a 2-2 two -two grunt. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. That seems pretty decent. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, this is the Battlegrounds card that's going to ruin Battlegrounds. Okay. It costs five and has no way to attack right away. Wait, what? Copy your opponent's secrets and put them into play. This is a three mana, three, four. I guess this wouldn't kill secret decks because they don't lose their secrets. But secret decks generally function off of a huge tempo difference versus your opponent. So if your opponent plays this, even though you you still get your secrets, you definitely lose that tempo value. This seems really good. 8 mana 6-6 six, six, elemental, draw your highest cost spell, summon a random minion with the same cost. Well that's pretty good. If your deck has no four cost cards, build a custom golem. One one five five ten ten. I don't know what the effects would be. I guess we'll find out soon enough. After you cast a holy spell, oh wait, does it go and play? Like the original Kazakus, the card would go to your hand. No, because then you'd always pick the ten. It has to go to your hand. You can give it taunt, divine shield, etc. That's hardly worth it. It has to do more than that. After you cast the Holy Spell, give a random friendly minion two health. Okay, whatever. Frenzy attack a random enemy. Okay. Help Mankirk find his wife. She was last seen somewhere in your deck. Three mana, three, four. That's not bad. Let's see. What does he do? Olgra Mankirk's wife casts when drawn. Summon a 310 Mankirk who immediately attacks the enemy hero. So it's a 3 mana 3 4, and you later draw a free 310 that dunks your opponent. Who would not play this? Wouldn't everyone play this? Auto include in every deck? Probably. Not an aggro? What? Of course you'd play this in aggro. 
Frenzy, add a random spell from your class to your hand. Three health isn't exactly frenzy consistency, though. But I like peons. Blade Master Samuro. Isn't this the other, like, super golden card? Rush Frenzy. Deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. So you kind of need to play this in a deck with some buffs. Diamond cards. Choose a minion, swap it with a random one in its owner's hand. That seems fun. And that's the last of it. Interesting set, actually. While I wasn't particularly blown away by the core cards, some of these cards actually look pretty cool. Not bad.